there's uh, going to be a baseball extravaganza on your show this week, and I wanted to dress for the part. Oh, gotcha. Also, uh, some about GoldenEye and James Bond and uh, something about the game Uprising. Yeah. Yeah, on the electronic playground this week. Electric so. playground. The electric playground, so I want to get back in time to uh, watch it. Okay. Nice flip-flops. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tommy Tellerico. I've been writing music for video games for over seven years now, and I gotta tell you, it is one of the coolest industries on the entire planet. Now we're gonna take you inside the world of video games, like no one else has ever done before. Now throw in weekly reviews of the hottest new games, and you got what we call the Electric Playground. Baseball, video games. Donkey, come here. We got to talk about a Resident Evil game, bro. About what? Resident Evil. Go oh, that. That oh, just, just came out. Big Bernie on the cover. Big Bernie's on the cover. Where's he at? Here, Bernie. Have you seen that? Yeah, Have you played it? Big Bernie! There he is, right there. Bernie, come here, see. man. Baseball has always been one of America's pastimes, but you know, video games are catching up pretty good, huh? Yeah. Here with Andy Pettit, Kenny Rogers. What's your favorite game? I like uh, I like Resident Evil. Resident uh, we, Evil on the PlayStation. Yeah, it took us about three months to finish it, but we uh, three used months. The, well, used the book. You guys, all, you guys aren't very good. No, three but months? we're baseball players. Cool. Actually, I'll stretch with you guys. All right. I'm gonna leave this whole video game music thing, and um, I got to try out with the Yankees in a in a couple of weeks, and we're doing this thing here. Okay. We're here in the largest motion capture facility in the world where some of the hottest Major League Baseball players are about to start practicing and getting into their black little suits to get set for their motion capture. Check it out. Action. Motion capture is when you put uh, markers onto actors and have them go through movement and then you feed that spatial information from those markers into a computer and then build a spline based skeleton on those movements. We're here with Carlos Reyes from the Oakland Athletics. What kind of video games do you like? Triple Play 98's a bomb. What system? Sony PlayStation. Really? Yeah. How much do you play that? Every day. Do you ever play baseball games on the PlayStation? No, uh, I'm not really, uh, when it comes to sports, I don't like, I don't know why. For some reason, I'm more into the uh, action fighting and all that stuff. You guys both say N64 is where it's at? Yeah. Tell me why. Tell me why. Because the graphics are way better than PlayStation. No loading. You know? no, no loading. No loading. No loading. loading. You guys say what? PlayStation. PlayStation. You guys PlayStation. say what? 64. Killer 64. 64. No. There's no games on Nintendo 64. Oh, what do you got? You guys say what do you got? Wait till, wait till uh, Chris. Look what you started, huh? Look what you started here, huh? What kind of video games do you play? I don't. <laughs> Sorry. You guys, did you guys play on the road at all? When you're, I know I you travel a lot. Yeah. I take it everywhere I go. I take it. Really? It keeps me out of trouble. I stay home and uh, have a good time. I love it. I mean, I stay two, three o'clock in the morning playing it. Excellent. This is Tommy Tellerico from the Electric Playground, and stay tuned because the game's about to begin. Head to head between MLB 98 and Triple Play 98. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Cool. Well, right. I want some of those peanuts first, man. Oh, sure. Let's go. Both of these games, Triple Play 98 and MLB 98, are the two best baseball games ever made for the PlayStation. Graphics. First of all, I think you can all see. The graphics in Triple Play are a little bit smoother, a little more rounded, a little more realistic. The shading is nicer than the graphics in MLB 98. Disagree. I think the graphics are slightly better 
in there, but I think the images are, are sharper in here. And then the motion nice capture time. is just amazing. Triple Play 98 is great motion capture, but not as good as uh, MLB 98. I tell you, they're going to have to bundle up tonight. A lot of turtlenecks out there on that field. Cold and windy for this game. Well, let's talk about the sound. Oh, man, no contest. The sounds in Triple Play kick. The, the announcer in Triple Play is, is very detailed, very excellent. Uh-oh, runners in trouble. MLB 98 also has great sound. Popped it up. But Triple Play's, because that commentator play-by-play -play is, is pretty excellent. Well, what it's got is two people in the booth given the commentary, and it's got stuff where they say, the last time this guy was a bad, he hit a double. The most important part of any sports game, and anyone will tell you this, is gameplay. And that's where MLB 98 has Triple Play B. It's very easy to make a play in the infield. You know, when you, when you hit the ball, you can move your shortstop over and turn a double play real quick. I found it difficult to do that in triple play. It, it's very hard. In the outfield, it's easy, but it's very hard to make a play in the infield because the camera seems to, like, follow the ball. It's all a camera angle thing. But you're right. Some of the camera angles make it more difficult to play. So I would give MLB the slight edge for gameplay. Now the controls yes. for MLB 98, I know we, we differ a little bit here. I personally like in MLB 98, when you want to press the base that you want to throw to or run to, yeah. you actually press the button because on the PlayStation controller, you have the four buttons set up just like a diamond. So the top button is second base, this is third base, and this is home. I personally, I love that. You press one button to, to throw to a base, whereas in triple play, oh, you have, right, you know, you have to press the action button and then the direction on the pad. Yeah, but every baseball game, you press one button and it's hit right to the base. You, you press the one button, you point where you want to throw it to, and that's where it goes. Right, that's why this one's better, because it's a little more different and oh, innovative. Well, yeah, you play this game and you got to have like a computer programming degree to understand all the mapping of the buttons. There's oh, so many mapping. different... mapping. You, you press the top button to go to second, you press the bottom button to go to home. you got to be yeah. a programmer. What? Oh, nice game. One thing that I will give you is that I think the features in Triple Play 98 are a bit better. Oh, like, you have, uh, one thing I love is Instant Replay, which, which that has. Well, not only Instant Replay, this game's got eight players at a time, can play at the same time. Yeah, because you always play with eight people. That, that happens <laughs> all the time, I'm sure. Well, if you've got friends, you do. <laughs> the cover of my game looks better than yours, all right? All MLB, right. you got my boy Bernie Williams here. T tell me, Vic, who is that on the cover? I don't know. You guys know who this guy is? He's a, he's a cardinal, and uh, yeah, I have to admit, uh, Bernie Williams on the cover. All right, That's Bernie Williams, smoke. the boy, All the right. Yankees rock. Got it, Bernie Williams. Uh, what would you give that game? Uh, this game um, gets a 9.2. Okay. That game there gets an 8.9. All right, I'd give uh, Triple Play 98 a 9, and I'd give uh, MLB 98 8.5. Very close. Yeah. You got to try them. Great games.